welcome back to my channel i'm so glad that you guys could tune in um with me today um i kind of just went with the flow nothing was really planned but i knew i had to incorporate glitter um, i hope you guys like the look um i did change the lip color like three times i had no idea what color to do with this look first i was gonna go completely gold but then i was like oh that's too much you know i'm not sure so i'm gonna let you guys comment below and let me know which lip color you liked out of the three that i chose um i think in the video i probably only did the first color but i'll put some pictures up so you guys can see and vote and let me know if you guys have any suggestions for another look please um comment below let me know give this video a thumbs up if you like it and if you're new to my channel welcome 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 please share and you know share with your friends let them know that i am doing weekly um tutorials and they're very random so you never know what you're gonna get from me but definitely know that it's always gonna be the best that i could do um so again thank you for tuning in and stay tuned if you want to see how i achieve this look okay guys we're starting out with our wet n wild um, eyeliner pencil this is in the color turquoise and happy saint patrick's day by the way i hope you guys are gonna drink a lot of beer and uh just have a good time um but pretty much i'm cutting another crease above my crease and it's almost like the shape of a leaf form it's like a half of a leaf i don't know how to explain it but I'm going to drag that all the way to my inner tear duct. Okay, so I'm going to do the same steps on the other side. So pretty much, it doesn't have to be completely neat, but you want to make sure that you get that shape down pat. Um, because that's going to be the foundation for the colors that we're going to pile on top. So we're going to go in now with um, Makeup Forever. Um, this color is green. Um, it is a long wear pencil, so you have to move pretty fast. Um, I'm going to go in now with a detailer brush using the color Humid by MAC, and that's going to darken the outer corners. So pretty much we're focusing all the dark colors on the outer corners, um, just to give it a nice gradient effect. And I'm doing the same on the other side. Okay, now we're going to go in and just basically feather up that humid green. Um, and we're going to blend it out slowly, but we're basically just focusing most of the color on the base of that line. By the way, the name of this song is called Hell Yeah. It's by my good friend Jordan featuring uh, Romy. I used to be in a singing group with her and I really, really love this song. So I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. Now I'm going in with a pointed crease brush and this is going to allow me to blend the color in. Take your time here because you don't want to drag that green too far up. If you look, I'm just focusing right where the green ends. Take your time again. Uh, don't rush. And I mean, if you mess up, you always can use concealer. Is that right, girl? And don't worry, we're going to go in later with another color to blend it out a lot more softly. Now we're going in with Makeup Geeks Corrupt. Um, this is a really dark black eyeshadow. Now remember earlier I said we're focusing all of the dark colors on the outer end of the line. So that's what we're doing here. And you're going to notice it's going to give the eye this gradient effect from darkest to lightest. It really looks nice when the look is all finished. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but one eye is more on a slant than the other eye, but that's okay. They're not twins, right? Just like brows. They're sisters, okay? Now, if you look, I'm going in with that same um, pointed crease brush, and I'm just blending out um, that black a little because we don't want it to be too harsh. We want it to blend evenly and nicely. And as I mentioned earlier, if you feel like you've messed up, you can go in with concealer. I did notice that my left eye had more of an arch than the right side, so I'm just going to try to um, replicate the same on the other side just to even it out. And if you look, the concealer pretty much fixed it. Now I'm going in with Sassy uh, Cream Base. This is white. I couldn't find my NYX, um, I mean, uh, my NYX uh, Jumbo Pencil, but any white base will do. Um, now I'm going in with my NYX pigment and I'm going to apply this all over the lid except for a space between the crease we created 
and the lid space. And if you just watch the video, you'll see exactly what I'm do what I'm doing. I'm gonna leave room for gold glitter, which we're applying with glitter glue. Um, what glitter glue did I use? I used um, Lit Cosmetics uh, glitter glue. So I'm just mixing that on a palette below me and I'm applying that there and you should get it to look something like that. Now I'm going in with Bamboo. This is going to be our transition color. I'm going back in with Humid because um, I realized it needed more of an a gradient effect. Now I'm going in with brow bone color. This is an eBay palette. I don't know the name of it. It was literally like less than $5. <laughs> so I'm using my e.l.f. liquid liner now and I'm doing a very thin wing and I'm not tilting it upward. I'm actually just going straight across. Now I'm going in with my MAC Smolder. I'm going to tight line with this. Um, this is the best way to prevent your lashes when you put them on anyway from having gaps, okay? I'm not going to record the part of my um, foundation, so I'm going to skip over that. But right now I'm going in with um, Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. I also ordered um, three pair of lashes from CocoLashes.com and I'm in love with the lashes. Now I'm just going in and um, cleaning up the lash line because I don't want the band to show or any glue or anything like that. So I'm just going in with a felt tip pen to clean that up. It's usually easier to do it with a felt tip pen, especially when you're using um, glosses, not glosses, but shimmer or glitter. Now I'm going to go in my waterline with Sigma, Sigma's white pencil. Um, this is just to basically open up my eyes and brighten them a little bit. If you realize, everything is on a slant, so it's making my eyes look really, really chingy. So this is just to open up the eye a little bit. Now I'm going to go in with the rest of the humid left on the brush, and I'm going to apply that underneath my eye. And this part, you kind of can be messy. It's okay if it falls below. Um, you know, if you look, I'm just using my finger to clean it. Now I'm going in with City Colors um, Cream Mousse. I love this cream mousse. Um, I've used it in previous tutorials. I don't use it enough, honestly. I feel like it's a multi-purpose multi um, cream. You can use it to highlight. You can use it as a base on your lid. I mean, things that you can do with it are endless. So I'm just using that to brighten up the inner corners. So now I'm going in with that pencil that we used earlier by uh, Wet n Wild. And I'm just dragging out a line. Um, just to give my eye, I don't know what you would call this, but I did later on erase it and pretty much just blended it out because I wanted to see how it would look without it. And now I'm going on top of that with Fantasy Makers um, Magical Magi and pretty much is a glitter liner. Now, I didn't realize how turquoise blue this was. It actually was not green. I wanted it to be green, but that's okay because I feel like it gave it a bit of contrast. But like I said earlier, later on, I ended up taking it off. And on this part, make sure you go in and you, you be very neat because... You know, it could easily mess up and look sloppy, and you don't want it to look sloppy. I'm um, going back in with the Sigma White Pencil, and this is just to add a little bit more brightness to the eye. And if you look, that white really popped on top of that Mousse Color by City Color. So I'm going in with my lower lash, and I'm using the same mascara, Too Faced Mascara. Applying that to the bottom. Now, this mascara makes me look like I have lashes, like bottom, top everything like I love this mascara and if you don't have it or you don't know about it you need to get some or you need to read up on it this is some good stuff okay now I'm gonna switch it up here I'm not gonna put on 
um, a highlighter per se. This is eyeshadow by e.l.f. It's only one dollar. I got it from the dollar store. But I wanted a subtle highlight and I really didn't have one because all the highlights that I invest in are like for the aliens to see. So I pretty much just use this. Um, there's no rules in makeup, you know. Not in that case. You know, you can use eyeshadow for blush, blush for eyeshadow, you know. So I'm going in with cinnamon. I love this blush. This is by uh, NYX. I really, really love this blush. I think orange really just looks well on me. Whether I wear it for lipstick or eyeshadow, it's just it's just a beautiful color. I might do an orange eyeshadow look next tutorial. Who knows? Alright, now I'm going to go in with my Jordana Lip Pencil. And this is in Bare Blush. Now my lips are really dry and crusty. Oh my god. You don't know what I went through to put this lip pencil on, but oh. And now I'm going in with Coral Bliss by MAC. And I'm going to spray my face. Or not even my face. I just sprayed the air and I just fell into it. <laughs> but pretty much that's it, folks. I hope you guys enjoyed the look. And stay tuned for my next video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I love you all and I'll see you the next time. Bye. Sexy.